This is Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, we're going to be discussing the Fitbit Activity and Sleep Tracker. On a previous video, we unboxed the Fitbit and kind of showed you what was in the box and told you some of the features it was supposed to have. On this video, we've actually tested it out and kind of can give you a, a on-the-spot review of uh, how it worked. Um, Got the Fitbit right here. It uh, just clips onto your clothing, uh, or there's a um, little contraption here you can hook it into and uh, clip it to your belt. Uh, it's a little bit wider clip, uh, or you can just stick it in your pocket. Uh, a lot of other pedometers. The problem with them is that you got to clip them on your belt or waistband. You don't really have a, a choice of where you clip them. And sometimes you have to clip them on a particular area on your waistband. The Fitbit you can put pretty much wherever it's comfortable and it seems a lot more accurate than most um, pedometers I've seen. In other words, it keeps track better of the steps you're making because it uses I don't know, some little scientific voodoo Pocus Pocus type stuff. <laughs> Basically, it uses it has a uh, circuit in there that detects your motion in in, in your movement. And um, other pedometers usually have some sort of counterweight or some mechanism in them that as you walk, it kind of some of them you'll actually hear click, and um, it's actually a mechanical. Thing inside of the pedometer and so if you don't have it clip, clipped exactly right or in a particular position it may not pick up some of your steps. Fitbit can actually detect if you're going upstairs too. How it does this I'm not really sure and that function may not be absolutely accurate. It seems to me like if you're going up an incline it might detect it as a stairway but it can basically tell you going up as opposed to just going on flat land. Um, another problem with a lot of pedometers is you've got the information but then you gotta kinda manually write down, okay I, I walked so far today, I took so many steps. Fitbit comes with a website, well it doesn't really come with a website per se, but I mean it comes up with a website account. You can set up an account on the web and the Fitbit will link to that account and keep track of of the information it records. So it records how many steps you took. It will tell you how many calories you burned, and it will tell you how many calories you burned even if you're not walking around. It tracks them for the day. So based on your activity, it calculates how much calories you would be burning. And so if you're sitting, you still obviously burn calories. Uh, and it keeps track of that as well. Even when you're sleeping, it says, well, you've burned so many calories while you've slept. Now, another interesting function that it does is it tracks um, how well you sleep, how many times you wake up in the night. And you're probably asking, well, how does it know? You know, That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked that. Once again, it a, has a motion detector in it. So it detects how much you're moving, and it can actually figure out if you're sleeping or sleeping well. So if you're the type that tosses and turns a lot, it may not be as accurate. It may th think you're waking up a lot where perhaps you might not be. Uh, but it seems to work pretty accurately um, as far as that goes too. And what it also measures is it, it tells you how long it, you, it takes for you to fall asleep and when you woke up in the actual time you slept. You know, So if you went to bed you know, at midnight and got up at 8 o'clock, you might think, oh, well, that's going to be 8 hours, but it took you 10 minutes to fall asleep, and you woke up so many times in the middle of the night, and so maybe it was only seven and a half hours you actually slept. And then it actually gives you your sleep efficiency, the, the percentage of the time that you were in bed that you were actually asleep. And so it actually tracks your actual sleep, or as near as it can, at least. 
And um, so that's a very nice function. So you, you know if you're really getting enough sleep or not. So it will actually suggest to you on the website in spots that you might need to get another hour or two of sleep. It will actually it will actually tell you on spots in the site what would the average would be. Now, the website is free, except you can get a more advanced version of it if you pay a premium, which is only about fifty dollars a year. So for fifty dollars a year, you can get some additional reports, but you don't need to sign up for that right away because most of those additional reports uh, really start to fall into play after you've been using it for about a week, and it can kind of track you for a while. And they actually give you a, a free trial so you can see what it's like. Uh, trial's only a day, but at least you get to see what it's like. So it, if that information is useful to you, you can add that to um, the website by paying a premium, and you could add that at any time. Uh, the website's really pretty useful, uh, and uh, it, it helps you set goals as well. So like by default, it sets 10,000 steps a day as a goal. You, you could change the suggested goal and has suggested goals, or you put your own goal in there. Um, so not only does it track you, but it tells you if you met your goal and how often you met your goal, if you meet, met your daily goal, your weekly goal, etc. So it has different things in that. Uh, it has different things to try to help motivate you to um, increase your activity. At any rate, uh, the uh, Fitbit works real, real well. Um, I have it stuck right on my, my shirt there. And um, it's very compact. It's the size of uh, one of those tiny USB flash drives, uh, about. And uh, although the flash drives are getting smaller now, so the size of a bigger one, maybe. But as you can see, not very large at all. Um. Okay, here's the uh, Fitbit right here. As you can see, it's uh, fairly compact. It is in comparison to a USB flash drive, and it's about the same size. Some USB flash drives are a little shorter than this now, but basically it's about the same size. There's a button right here, and if you hit the button, it will uh, show you its display. Here, for instance, you have uh, the number of steps, the distance, uh, how many calories were burned, how many flights of stairs were climbed, and there's this flower here. The flower can have up to 12 leaves on it, and the leaves on the flower indicate how active you are. So obviously the more leaves you have, the more active you've been and during the day. Also, uh, you see a little message here. When you pick it up, it will pop on sometimes. It said rock on. That's a message I put in there. You can put your own personal message in there. And it will say little things sometimes as well, like high five, rock on, which is my message again. And um, very comfortable to wear. You clip it anywhere on your clothing, as I said. And uh, I like to clip it up here because uh, I found I tried clipping it on the edge of my pocket initially, but as you put things in your pocket and take things out of your pocket, it's easy to knock it off, and you could lose it. And a hundred bucks a shot, do we really want to use it? It's not like a pen, you know. We all lose pens a lot, it's because well, pens are only twenty cents unless you have a hundred and fifty dollar pen, in which case you probably never lose it. So. <laughs> It's the type of thing you don't want to lose. Um, it has a little readout on it. And uh, the readout uh, shows you how many paces and how, how well you're doing and such. So you, can, you, so you can check it as you're going through the day. Or you can check on your website, which gives you more details. And as soon as you go next to your computer, there's a little... Um, there's a little um, cradle here that you put the uh, Fitbit on and the cradles to really charge it 
But if you're within 15 feet of that cradle, it wirelessly updates um, the website with the Fitbit information. Fitbit also has this little cradle here that actually has a wireless um, mechanism in it so that it can pick up wirelessly uh, the data from the Fitbit, but it also can be used to charge the unit. And you can see there, there's a little battery appear showing how much it's been charged when you you uh, click it on uh, the the uh, cradle initially. Now, one thing you have to decide is what computer you are going to put it on. Like you may want to put it at work or at home, depending on what computer you use the most. Uh, and it's only going to update when you're near that computer, so so you have to kind of judge where you're going to be viewing the information uh, the most. I mean, you can still view the information on another computer. It will just only update it when you're near the computer that has the uh, cradle with the wireless update on it. One thing to remember about the Fitbit is it's just a tool. It can't actually make you increase your activity or walk further or sleep better but it kind of monitors it so that you can look at how well you're doing and then adjust uh, what you're doing uh, you could actually increase your activity without a Fitbit but the Fitbit provides you a way to really accurately measure it uh, which is not as easy to do if, if you're walking around during the day like for instance you can take a few extra flights of stairs or take the stairs instead of the elevator during the day, the Fitbit will keep track of that. Um, if you're in a hurry and you didn't have the Fitbit, you might be taking the elevator more than you think you're taking the elevator. You might be taking shortcuts more than you're thinking you're taking shortcuts. If you're just exercising, you could walk around a track and use that to measure how far you were going and what your progress is. The Fitbit allows you to do that as you're doing daily activities. You can look and See, oh, I've only go, gone so many steps today. I want to do s so many more steps. I'll take a walk during lunch, or I'll take a walk during this break, or I'll park out farther in the parking lot from the grocery store. It also motivates you a little better because you could, you know, park farther from the grocery store when you go there. You could take more steps, but you really wouldn't know how that affected your overall activity. The Fitbit will let you know that. This is Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, have fun using technology. What you, what you want, what you, what you want.